Alright you guys, got another video here for you. This one was uh, requested uh, the other day on uh, one of my comments and he's asked how do you back up your drivers uh, for Windows inside Windows 10. So I thought we'd make a quick video to show you uh, a couple of ways of going about it. Windows 10 has uh, allowed you to do this via the PowerShell and also there is an old tool which is called Double Driver which you've seen me use many years ago uh, and you can still use that today to back up your drivers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about doing that. So first off, what we're gonna do is uh, do it via the PowerShell. So what you wanna do is come down to the search box here and you wanna type in here PowerShell, like so, and it should pop up here like that. And then what you wanna do is right click on this and run this as administrator. Then you will say yes to the user account control. And then once you've got your PowerShell window open, you want to put in this command here. So this is the command you want. It says export Windows driver space uh, dash online dash destination and it has the destination of where you want your drivers to be backed up to. So when you push enter uh, and you put that into the PowerShell window, it will then create a folder called driver backup in your C root directory and it will export all your Windows drivers and put them into that uh, dot folder there. So you could put this on your D drive and once it's done that uh, command, it will give you a long list of all the drivers that it's backed up here, okay? And there'll be a lot of them if you've got a, a system like mine that's been around for a while with loads of uh, drivers installed on it and you can see there's quite a few here. Now you can save that list if you want to uh, but we're not going to bother so I'm going to close that off next we're going to go to the location and uh, we're going to go inside the C root directory here and you'll see that folder is right there called driver backup let's go in here and you can now see a long list of drivers that have been backed up to that location now, if you wanted to use a piece of software, this piece of software has been around a long time and uh, we're just gonna take a quick look at it. It's called Double Driver and uh, uh, it still works and uh, it works with Windows 7 as well and older versions of Windows. Um, so you can see here we have Backup and Restore and this also works from a live environment or live CD or Windows PE disk. So what you wanna do is click the Backup button here and you can see here it says scan current system and straight away you can see it starts to scan that system and it finds all the drivers all you'd need to do here is put the ticks into the drivers that you want to uh, back up now there is other selections here that you can add to the list if you wish if you feel that it's not done a far enough scan because it does actually put the ticks in the boxes for the important stuff but if you want to add more drivers in you can actually do that by adding more ticks in now once you've got that done you can then back these up and you can see a big button there called backup you just hit that and choose a location so you can see here uh, we're just going to put this into into our c root directory i'm just going to take this out hopefully just get that there like so I'm going to copy this and put this in our C root directory there we go and perhaps I should have just put a folder in there as well I'm going to make a new folder and we're just going to slap that inside there like that there we go now also you can compress this uh, folder here as well if you want to uh, we're just going to leave it as is and then click OK here and it will start to copy all those files across. And there we go. And of course that's nearly backed up now. We've got 96% as you can see here. So we'll just let that finish off. And the operation is now complete. Now the good thing is here is this gives you the ability to restore these. 
Now uh, you can also save this list and also print it out and stuff like that. So let me just quickly show you where these files have gone. And there they are, double driver backup. And if you look inside here, there is nicely laid out where it's got the net ports, mouse, media, and so on, and all your display drivers, which is your graphics card drivers. Now, why would you want to do this? So let's uh, answer that first. The reason why you'd want to do this is if you're a PC technician, computer tech, and you just want to quickly back up their drivers, and uh, you maybe you're doing a fresh install of Windows, what generally happens is that if they haven't got the uh, CD for, for their drivers, what will happen is the network drivers won't work, none of that stuff will work, and by backing them up, you can just quickly restore those drivers. It makes it very quick and easy, and uh, saves you having to scout around on the internet for drivers. So that's probably one of the reasons why you'd want to do it. And also, it's good practice to keep your, a good backup of your drivers, just in case something goes wrong. And that's pretty much it for this one. So if you want to restore these, you would just obviously hit the restore and then go back to that destination, okay? Uh, but we're, you need to be running as administrator uh, to do that, okay? And this is not running as administrator at the minute. So you'd need to do that and then just restore. But it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. Thanks for the video request. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day. Bye for now.